Everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> and this is my review of Outbreak Company, episode 11, entitled Plot Silent, Plot Deep. Shinichi's efforts to speed to spread the otaku culture bear fruit. However, when there is a shortage of products from Japan, leading to various conflicts amongst the people in Eldent, Shinichi learns the true intentions of the Japanese government and falls into into despair upon it until Musel inspires him to come w up, to come up with a solution. So, and that's basically the gist of what happened in this episode. Um, very interesting. Yeah, you know, what they did in this episode, you know, and and I know it's supposed to be taken seriously, but the plot makes it to where you can't really take it fucking seriously. So it's just hilarious, as well as, you know, interesting at the same time. Alright, it's essentially what the Japanese government intended to do was to spread the otaku culture in this world, and then make it to where it would be short. So then they would fight amongst themselves and basically start a war. And that's what they intended to do in order to attempt to take over in order to attempt to take over this world. However, you know, and they couldn't do that with normal forces because there's magic in this world, who, which could obviously overpower, like, military, like, human military might, you know. And so the way that, and so the way that, uh, Shinichi comes up with a solution for this is to inspire them to create their own anime and manga and light novels and video games and whatnot in this world, which is an interesting solution, to say the very least. Um, you know, it's, de it's definitely interesting. Kind of weird, because it's a lot more difficult than they may think in order to create this stuff. But then again, they never explained exactly how they're able to play video games in this world, so, you know or electricity does not exist yet, you know, not let alone the lights and whatnot, so yeah. Well, just go with it, <laughs> alright. And there was, in this, early on in this episode, there was actually uh, one of Shinichi's students who basically drew some pictures and, or, well, he wrote, he wrote, he didn't draw pictures, he wrote um, the first little bit of his own light novel, which Shinichi really liked, and then there was Elvia who was drawing pictures for hers, which Shinichi really liked, so that also kind of, in a way, helped to inspire Shinichi's decision making at towards the end of the episode there. All right. And overall, there's not a whole lot to say. A whole lot to say about this episode. I was it was fairly enjoyable, and I thought it was a very interesting turn that they took this parody comedy series. All right. But it, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.